guys, it is 6.50 right now. We are on our way to a Facebook Marketplace deal for some pretty good stuff. So, we got multiple games, guys. We got PS1, we got N64, we have Super Nintendo, we have Genesis. Not a bunch of stuff, but some decent stuff. And we're going to be on our way. Ain't that right, Pops? It's almost 7 o'clock at night. Yes, and, uh, yeah. And I'm sick. It's He's sick. And as you guys can tell, it's fucking dark outside. So, But we're going to head out there, uh, out to Walmart, pick this shit up, and come back home. All right, guys, it is dark as a dungeon out here right now, as you can see. We're in the sticks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're on our way to Walmart. We're going We're going the scenic route. Yeah, we're going the easy route instead of being on the, on the highway. Uh, and it is dark as a motherfucker out here because it's only... Seven o'clock. So I mean, it's it's summertime. It still be daylight. Yeah, summertime. It still be day, daylight. Uh, but as you can tell, it's still it's still technically winter because it's cold and everything. And yeah, so we'll give you guys an update when we get to Walmart. All right, guys, we are pulling into the Walmart parking lot. There is Lowe's right there, and it is pretty light out here. What we're going to do is we're going to go park around in the back of the parking lot and uh, wait for the guy to come. He said he'll be here in about 10 minutes, or at least that's what he told me what time he'll be there, but we'll, we'll find out. All right, guys. Here's the neck of the woods. But never mind. Now we're here at Walmart. As you can see, there's the pickup sign back there. We're going to wait on the guy. He said he'll be here in a few minutes. A, a little tidbit about, about this right here. Yeah, they place. can't even see you, Pops. Huh? A little tidbit about this place. I know you can't see me, but a little tidbit about this place. Wasn't too long that somebody was murdered in the woods right over there. That is true, by the way. Maybe this maybe this wasn't the best place to park. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> but at least you're with me in case the guy wants to murder somebody. All right. Uh, we'll film, uh, uh, th this is probably all we're going to film till we get the pickup because, of course, I ain't going to film the guy because... And then we'll be in the daylight. Yeah, then we'll be back home. I with, know you guys can't see it very well. <laughs> I know you guys can't. But I just want to give you a little tidbit about, there was, there was actually a murder take place in them woods right over there. So. I know you probably can't see it, but there's woods over there. No doubt. All right, guys, we are back home. And we got a box full of goodies right here that we're going to go through here in a few. So there you guys go. There's a little sh uh, preview shot. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wrestling Rampage. You guys seen that me and Pops went out around, uh, what was it? Uh, it was about a uh, little up past seven. Uh, by the time we got to Walmart, we met in the Walmart parking lot. And it was dark as shit. You guys seen it. <laughs> it was very dark. Uh, and we were there to meet a guy with a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Um, very nice guy. Uh, when he got out of his truck, he was right next to us. Um, and he handed me this box full of stuff. You guys could kind of see a little bit. Uh, and guys, we have anywhere from... Uh, we have Genesis, uh, Sega Genesis games, even in box games. Uh, we have um, Super Nintendo we have N64 games. Uh, we also have uh, some hard to find, kind of difficult to find PlayStation 1 games. Even a rare PlayStation 1 game in this box. So uh, get settled in because we're going to go one by one on what we got in this box. Uh, the first two things I'm going to show you were added. Um, were in the bundle. I didn't really want them just because I don't collect them, but it was there um, in the bundle. And the weird thing is, is by the way, uh, when I t when I was talking to the guy, um, he said that he got all this stuff at a storage unit. He says that he cleans out storage units uh, and buys them and cleans them up. And you know, if there's anything that he can sell or get rid of, he will. And I told him, hey, if you ever find any more video games, let me know. Um, I'll be glad to uh, take a look and see if there's anything I would like. Because um, he gave me a, a damn good, <laughs> a damn good offer on this stuff. Yeah, so he says that he buys, that he buys, and and uh, and he found all this stuff in a storage unit. 
So, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and show you guys the first thing here. A game I don't collect uh, at all, but it is an Atari 2600 game. We have a game program, Basketball. Use with joystick controllers. Um... 1978 Atari Inc. Um, I don't collect Atari, uh, so these games are kind of useless to me. Um, but, I mean, it's always nice to see where gaming actually came from, you know, because uh, uh, these were, you know, Atari was one of the first game consoles, uh, or one of the first major main mainstream game consoles. And uh, it's always nice to have these... Um, but uh, basketball sell, sold on eBay in this condition. Uh, as you can tell, it is a little rough. Uh, I mean, nothing like major or nothing. I mean, it is a little dirty. I could, like, uh, when it comes to some of these games, I will have to clean these up, games up because they are a little dirty because they did come out of a storage unit. But I'm always fine with cleaning things. It doesn't bother me. Uh, basketball sold on eBay for $4. You know, 4 bucks. You know, it is a... Atari 2600 game, and then the other 26 uh, Atari 2600 game is the uh, Super Breakout, which I actually played Breakout before, and I really enjoyed it. it. Says use the paddle controllers for this one, but uh, Super Breakout. Um, you know, I actually played Breakout. I really enjoyed Breakout. Uh, this sold on eBay for six bucks, so. Uh, you know, any Atari fans, let me know. I'm not an Atari fan, uh, so uh, I might not be keeping these. I'm going to try to get rid of these because I don't really need them. But that's $10. So that's not bad uh, for these two games. Uh, but that's not what I was wanting to show you, you know. But this was added. Uh, and the weird thing is, is uh, the, guy, the guy was older. The guy was maybe 45 or, you know, almost in his 50s. And he was telling me, you know, that, you know, he played Atari and... And he th and he thought he thought these games might be worth a little something, but they're really not. Uh, Atari games, most Atari games are kind of uh, worthless, <laughs> but you know it is what it is. Uh, let's go into the Sega Genesis. Let's go with the first game. Now, like I said, some of these are pretty dirty, so I will have to clean these. But but here we go. We have. In box, we have College Football USA um, 96. It is a sports game made by EA Sports. Like, like, I, like I said, I mean, it is a little dirty. I will have to clean this. As you can tell, it's a little dusty and stuff. Um, and it has a price tag of $6.99. That's almost what it's worth, to be honest with you. But uh, open it up. It is missing the manual, so it is only box and cartridge but that's fine uh, I don't have a lot of boxed Genesis games so uh, cartridge looks in pretty good condition so looks like somebody tried to market it or something but um, this game uh, in box this game is a um, it's six bucks so it, you know it's like it's, it's a six dollar game so I mean, it, what you know, they were they were off by a little bit. <laughs> they were off by a dollar, but there you guys go. Show you guys a little bit of uh, we got FedEx Orange Bowl, Pasadena Tournament of Roses, um, Fiesta Bowl. So some nice stuff. Um, next one we have is oh sorry guys I hit the camera there. <laughs> next one is a game I already have. But uh, I don't have it in box, so uh, this makes it even better. It is, for the Sega Genesis, it is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, like I said, a little uh, <laughs> pretty dusty and stuff, as you can see. Uh, but I can actually probably clean this up. Uh, open it up. It is missing the manual, but the cart actually looks in really good condition. So... Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that Sonic 2. That actually looks in really good shape. So, uh, I already own Sonic 2, but uh, this this cartridge looks way better than my condition copy. So, um, yeah, Sonic 2 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, I'm a big Sonic fan, so, yeah. It is missing the manual, but though, but it's alright. 
Uh, that doesn't bother me. This sold on eBay, box and cartridge only, sold for seven bucks. Uh, apparently, the person that got this actually paid ten dollars for it. That's a that's a little overpriced, but I didn't pay that for it. But somebody else did. <laughs> uh, so seven bucks for Sonic Two uh, for the Genesis. Next one is actually. This one's actually complete, by the way. It actually has the manual with it. It's made by Namco. It is, for the Sega Genesis, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. I love Pac-Man. I'm a big Pac-Man fan, so... Um, this is nice. There is the spine. Here is the back. Um... It says, uh, take Pac-Man on some out, way out adventures, including an intense hangout glider flight, uh, a thousand different cartoon quality animations, uh, and then you can play bo uh, bonus gameplay. Step into the Pac-City Arcade and play original Pac-Man and a mystery Pac-Game in their entirety. And this came out in 94. So, uh, open it up. It is actually complete with instruction manual. So, um, that is uh, awesome that it came with the manual. And uh, we got the game cartridge. Now, like I said, I will have to clean some of these cartridges. I may have to uh, uh, clean the contacts of these uh, to make sure they work. I haven't tried any of these games out yet because, you know, I just bought them. <laughs> but uh, 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 the cart looks in fantastic condition. Look at that. Uh, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. It looks in fantastic condition. Um, but it is complete, so that is fantastic. Pac-Man 2, unfortunately, it's only like a $10 game uh, on eBay. Complete. It's only like 10 bucks. Uh, but a person bought it for twenty dollars, man. But that's all for the Genesis games. Uh, I got I got like a bunch of of like different games. Like I got like I got like a handful of Atari games. I got like a handful of Genesis games. Let's get a little, another handful here. Uh, the next handful is Super Nintendo games. So. Let's show you guys the Super Nintendo games that I got. This game I already have for the for it, but it came in the lot. Uh, it is for the Super Nintendo. Uh, it is WWF Super WrestleMania, made by Shitty LJN. Uh, this looks to be in decent condition. Like I said, I will have to clean these. Uh, but overall, it's not in terrible condition. Uh, I will have to take the sticker off, though. I'm pretty sure that might just... Yeah, that might... Yeah, yeah, that will just come off. Um, I'll do it later, though. <laughs> not in this video. But um, uh, a person apparently paid... One, one guy paid $8 for it originally. That's what the little price tag says. And then somebody marked it with a uh, a, a marker for six dollars uh but this is only like a five dollar game like on ebay uh super wrestlemania is only like five bucks it's not a uh but i already own it though so uh but wwf super wrestlemania for the super nintendo uh about a five dollar game next game i don't have but i know it's a, noto uh, a notorious shitty game uh but i don't have it in my collection and that's what I like about Facebook Marketplace is I could buy like multiple games and probably don't have some of them. Um, which is the reason why I enjoy buying different games. And this game is for the Super Nintendo. It is Shaq Fu. Now this is a notorious shitty game. And I know this. I know it's a shitty game. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I've seen gameplay of this, of, of this over, over a period of time. I know it's a pretty shitty game, but I don't have it. 
<coughs> and I'm glad to have it in my collection now. Shaq Fu sold on eBay, uh, just cartridge only. It sells for about seven bucks. Uh, somebody bought it for ten, and then somebody bought it for eight, apparently. But um, yeah, it's only like a seven dollar game. But don't have it. Nice to have in my collection. I don't have a lot of Super Nintendo games. I have maybe, uh, if I had to guess, maybe like seven or eight in its Super Nintendo games. So this is pretty cool. And then the last Super Nintendo game, and then we're going to get into to the N64 games, which is um, for the Super Nintendo. It is Super Off Road. Now, I actually own Super Off-Road on the Genesis, uh, and I enjoy playing it. It's a pretty fun game. I really enjoy it. Um, there's a little spine thing. Uh, Super Off-Road, it's a fun game. I really enjoyed it. I played it on the Genesis. I don't know if there's any difference in the Super Nintendo and the Genesis uh, editions. I doubt it. But, it's always nice to have. And... Um, like I said, it's a little dirty, as you can see, but um, I can easily clean this, uh, clean the cartridge and stuff, and make sure I clean the contacts as well with some uh, alcohol and some Q-tips. But uh, super off-road, somebody bought it for like 10 and then another person bought it for 8 like they did with the Shaq Fu. Uh, looks like this person maybe bought it from like a, like a... Like some type of thrift store. They bought a lot of these games apparently from like a thrift store because they all got like these little tags on them and stuff. So uh, the person that bought these probably overpaid for a lot of these games. But uh, this one's actually worth about that. Uh, this game sold on eBay. It's about a $12 game. Believe it or not. So uh, Super Off-Road for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's about $12 uh, cartridge only. And then, guys, let's get into the Super, I mean, the, uh, not Super, uh, into the Nintendo 64 games. I got five Super Nintendo games. Not Super Nintendo. N64, sorry. Uh, a lot of, I got a lot of different games, guys. But, let's go ahead and show you guys the Nintendo 64 games. Um... Let's let's start off with with the cheapest game, <laughs> uh, which uh, is this. Of course, I bought all these in a lot. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, EA Sports. We have for the Nintendo sixty four, Madden ninety nine. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's Madden ninety nine. <laughs> Uh, this game is real. It, it is it is one of the cheapest N64 games out there. So uh, if you find it, uh, pick it up for pretty cheap if you can. Uh, like I said, I will have to clean these. These are really dirty. Uh, and somebody wrote four on it. I guess they paid four dollars for it, maybe. But um, this game, this game, honestly, cart uh, cartridge only. Mad 99. It's Honestly, it's only like a three dollar game. I'm not even joking. It's like it's only like three bucks. It's it's pretty cheap. You could pick it up on eBay for like three dollars. So uh, that is uh, one of the cheaper games out of the lot, guys. Th that's probably the cheapest game out of this entire lot. But it is what it get. It is what it is. This game, guys. This game right here is a game I used to own back in the day, and I played the hell out of it. I know a lot of people love uh, 007 Goldeneye. Uh, I played that one a little bit. This is the one I played more than Goldeneye. Uh, is 007 The World Is Not Enough. I played the hell out of this when I was a kid. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, there are some condition issues with a lot of these. Uh, some are dirty. Some, some of the labels are kind of discolored. But that does not bother me. I don't have a lot of N64 games. I only have maybe how many 64 games I got? Maybe 20. Uh, so now I have like 25. <laughs> but um, 
I used to own this, but I own the blue cartridge. I didn't own the, the, the gray variant cartridge. Uh, this is not a fake cartridge. It's just uh, some... Uh, they did like a blue one, and then they did like a gray variant cartridge. There's no real difference in price of them, but um, somebody bought it for five bucks. That's not a bad deal because this game sold on eBay and sells regularly on eBay for thirteen dollars. Um, and I was tempted to buy it at Game Exchange one day, but I was like, eh, I'll pass. And guys, I'm glad I passed because I actually got this phenomenal deal on Facebook Marketplace. So. Pretty good haul for uh, 007, The World Is Not Enough. And I really enjoyed this game when I was a kid. Like I said, about uh, this is about a $13 game, cartridge only. So, not bad. The next game I actually picked up before already. <coughs> I bought this game at... Uh, at um, I bought this game at Peddler's Mall like a few months ago. And it is uh, for the Nintendo 64 NBA Hang Time, made by Midway. And I know Charles, Charles Reed Fowler, I know he's a big fan of this game. And also a big fan of any Midway games. Uh, I also have another Midway game that's going to be coming up in the next one. So uh, peep out this one as well. This game I, have, I still have not played yet. I already own it. And I already cleaned it as well. Already got the price tag off of it. Somebody wrote it in Sharpie, which which somebody sharpied this one as well. Apparently, somebody paid four dollars for it. And then somebody paid five bucks for it. Uh, still five bucks for it, which is not a bad deal because this game sells on eBay for fourteen dollars, cartridge only. Not a bad deal. Um. Yeah, so if you got it for five and it's a, like a fourteen dollar game, that's a pretty pr impressive deal. I already own this game though, but I was already talking to Tommy, and Tommy wants it, so I'm like, sure, you can have it. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna give this to Tommy. Uh, he's a big NBA fan, uh, and like I said, I mean, I, I will clean this before I give it to him. Uh, like I said, I mean, it is pretty. Uh, it's kind of discolored and stuff, but I will have to clean off. Um, uh, some of the stuff and get these stickers off, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So, uh, NBA Hang Time, not a bad deal. Next one is also made by Midway, and it's an N64 game. It is NFL Blitz 2001. I'm not I, like I said. A lot of these are sports games, as you can see. I. I I got a Madden 99. Now, the 007 ain't a sports game, but NBA Hang Time's a sports game. NFL Blitz is a sports game. And, guys, the next one is also a sports game as well. But I don't know what it is. I guess because a, a lot of the adults now that were young, like like me, I grew up playing N64, but I also played PlayStation. I also played Sega Genesis. But when I was growing up, I played a lot of N64, and I guess that's why I guess that's why it's more coveted now, because N64 games a few years ago used to be pretty cheap to find. Now they're pretty expensive. Even some of the the uh, cheaper titles that you would think would be cheaper. I mean, Madden '99 is cheap, but <laughs> NFL Blitz 2001. This is a fifteen dollar game on eBay. Apparently, somebody paid four or five bucks for it which is still p good deal good deal though uh but nfl blitz like i said i will have to clean these you can tell they're kind of dirty but uh i'm up for the task because i got these on a, on a damn good deal and for cheap uh a 15 dollar game cartridge only nfl blitz 2001 and then the last n64 game which sadly enough has a rip label which kind of sucks <clears throat> and this is actually the one that's worth the most out of a lot. Most shocking. It is International Track and Field 2000. And uh, it's made by Konami. And what I mean by a rip label is, yeah, it has a rip label. Um, because apparently somebody bought this with the property of Blockbuster. <laughs> Uh, and Blockbuster, what they did was they put their little film across this. 
Uh, so, uh, like, if you tried to peel that off, which apparently somebody did, it wasn't me, I bought it like this, but I guess somebody tried to peel it off, and it kind of ripped the label. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, I bought it for my collection, I didn't buy it to resell or anything, so... And somebody and somebody only paid somebody paid uh, six dollars for it, and somebody paid four dollars for it. And uh, the back, the little things uh, gone. And um, as you can tell, there's still a little blockbuster kind of sticker there. Uh, I will have to clean this up as well. Maybe I can glue that down, maybe or tape it down uh, to kind of help it a little bit. But uh, this game sold on eBay regularly like i think there was like five or six listings on ebay of this game for the n64 this game is a 20 dollar game believe it or not 20 bucks and uh yeah that is fantastic and guys the last two games are playstation games ps1 games and these are the last games um there's only two but they are damn good too. So let's go ahead and show you guys the first one. First one is for the original PlayStation 1. It is Bubsy 3D. And guys, I get giddy when I find PlayStation games or N64 games or games in general that I don't have because uh, I'm always looking for games. As you can tell, it is pretty dirty. I will have to clean these. <laughs> but I don't have this game and uh, I'm glad to have it. Sadly enough, the case is broken, but I can always replace the case. Um, we got the manual right here in damn good condition. And then we have the disc right here, Bubsy 3D. And condition, there are some light scratches on it, but um, it should play. If it does not, I can get it resurfaced for a dollar or two and bring it back to its former glory. And, uh, it says run, jump, swim, fly anywhere in a huge 3D world, uh, full of zany humor and the bubsitude. So, uh, this actually sounds pretty fun. What is that, Mortal Bobcat? This actually seems pretty fun. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna, gotta, gotta lie, so that seems pretty fun. This game sold on eBay complete, and as you can tell, this is a complete copy. This sold for $20 complete um, on eBay. Uh, and guys, the next one is the rare game out of the lot, guys. And this is the one main reason why I bought the lot, because I've seen this game. And uh, this game is, is going to surprise you on how much it actually costs. It's for the PS1, the PlayStation... It is Skull Monkeys. Uh, and this is made by Electronic Arts, DreamWorks Interactive, and Neverhood. Uh, there is the um, spine. Uh, Chuck Fool O Humor, just like Earthworm Jim. Uh, armed with a killer butt and a boatload of bizarre weapons. Your Clayman and Last Clay Action Hero Run Jump Battle Bunts Bat wait Butt Bounce uh, Repeat until you save your beloved world from the evil villain Clog and his skull monkey minions. Guys, this game looks fantastic and you guys can see the Yeah, look at that. It's all moving and shit. That looks fantastic. Um, it is complete with manual. As you can see, there is the disc. Uh, it is it is a little scratched, but I can get I can I can get this easily uh, uh, resurfaced. So, because there is not the, the, there's no deep scratches. There there's just light scratches. And guys, Skull Monkeys complete sold on eBay. For sixty dollars, sixty bucks for this game alone—that is fantastic. This is a pretty rare PS1 game, and I just bought it off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so, guys, 
I picked all this up on Facebook Marketplace. We got the five uh, the five N64 games. I got the three Super Nintendo games. I got the, the two PlayStation games. I got the three Genesis games and the, the two Atari games. Guys, on eBay, this would have been $202. And also, guys, this also coincides with uh, price charting. You guys can go, go, press, uh, go look at price charting. But, guys, <clears throat> the guy who bought the storage units on Facebook Marketplace, he only wanted 45 bucks for these. And I was like, that's a hell of a deal. So, I only I bought all this stuff on Facebook Marketplace for only $45. That's a hell of a deal. Um, and, uh, you know, if you do your math here, on eBay, $200 and... Yeah, $202. Facebook Marketplace, $45. That's a total savings of $157. Bucks. I saved I saved over a hundred and fifty dollars buying this on Facebook Marketplace. Guys, those there are deals out there to be found. All you have to do is go look for them. Um guy was very nice. Got you know, like I said, I mean he could have been a real asshole and charged me more. Uh but he only wanted forty five dollars for all this stuff that he found. Guys, he found all this in a storage unit. A storage unit. He found in 64 games a decent PlayStation 1 game and a rare PlayStation 1 game in a storage unit for crying out loud. I can't get that lucky. I've 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 been to storage units and I haven't found shit. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all of our social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage two. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. Uh, and we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.